the sea can be a lonely place. Physically isolated from the rest of humanity, the sailor really knows what it means to have a lifeline of communications. Around Australia and on nearby islands, the Overseas Telecommunications Commission Australia has 15 radio stations for communications with ships at sea. Taruna, this is Melbourne Radio. All OK, the details... These stations form Australia's coast radio service, that vital communications lifeline. Security, security, security. Hello, all ships, all ships, all ships. This is Sydney Radio. Sydney Radio, Victor... India. OTC's 15 coast radio stations regularly broadcast information vital to ships and those who man them. Weather forecasts and local meteorological data Navigation, storm or cyclone warnings. Charlie, Navigational warning. I got the Charlie 157 and 73. Australia Northwest Coast. Chart. But they do more than that. 24 hours a day, the network keeps watch. A constant listening lookout for any signal which may herald an emergency or lives in danger. At regular intervals, silence periods are observed when stations cease operations and listen. Listen for signals too weak to be heard above the normal hubbub of activity. Signals which may mean the difference between life and death. When a distress call is picked up, the rescue authorities are notified immediately and the station stands by to help in any way it can. Many of the OTC stations are equipped with hotline telex links to Department of Shipping and Transport's Marine Rescue Operations Center in Canberra. Although the safety of life at sea is the prime concern of those who man the coast radio service, it's not their only task by a long way. There are everyday communications, phone calls and telegrams, cargo manifests, berthing arrangements, arrivals, departures, provisioning all the details involved in moving things and people by sea. And what about you? That's right, you can phone a friend on board a cruise liner almost as easily as if he was still at home next door. Or you could send him a telegram. He can contact you the same way, through a coast radio station. And where telegrams or phone calls cannot be radioed to the ship concerned immediately, the coast station regularly broadcasts lists of the ships for which it is holding traffic. Any ship hearing its call sign mentioned in one of these schedules checks in and its traffic is passed on to it. If the ship concerned is out of the range of the coast station, the message or call is passed to another station, either in Australia or overseas, whichever is closer. Coastal radio services, both for the safety of life and for communications, are available to and are used by everyone who goes to sea. The captain of a super tanker, your holiday-making friend on a cruise liner, a seaman on a coastal freighter, or if he has the equipment, just dared out for a spot of weekend fishing. The staff of OTC's Coast Radio Service are dedicated men using the best equipment available. Many of them have spent years at sea themselves, so they know the problems which face today's mariners. They're proud of the fact that no distress call has ever gone unheard by the OTC Coast Radio Service. And that's a fact that makes the sea a lot less lonely. This was a Crawford documentary film production.